Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Since last time, I changed my setup around a little bit. Got the stun guard on dark, because we're going to need that coming up here. Lavitz is pretty much the same. And Rose, I gave the physical ring and healed her up at the healing spring where we were before. Uh, let's see, how are the additions looking? Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep going with that. You're good there. And, well, you're doing pretty good on that. I would like to be able to finish off Whip Smack for Rose by the end of the next dungeon. But, for now, we're doing pretty good. You could also bring Shauna into this fight if you wanted. If you did, I would recommend equipping her with the stun guard. But, you could do whatever you like. But yeah, I, I want to bring Rose along because, well, she could use the experience more than Shauna. Oh, who's there? How do you know him? Uh, he said Graham, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. It doesn't matter. Oh! Well, how's it going, buddy? Oh, you mean like at a wedding or something? Or, or second in command? Or number one? Have I heard that name before? Oh, yeah, so I have. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, if you recall, when we were back at Bale there, some people were talking about the guy who betrayed Lavis's father. This is him! Oh, I don't think he betrayed any of us. And what is happening to your outfit there, Rose? It's like a layer of her clothing is going on and off for some reason. I mean, my guess is that she's... They're trying to animate her moving a little bit so she doesn't look like a statue or like maybe she's breathing or whatever. But for some reason, it just makes her clothes look funny. I, I don't know why. Yeah, how hard could it possibly be to take him on? What new power? Whoa! Nice. I thought dragoons were supposed to be good guys. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. I suppose so. But still. I thought, yeah. Whoa! What, you guys didn't notice him there? Oh, he said, this is the power I've obtained. Oh, you mean the shiny little pebble? Oh, but, wait a minute. Wasn't he dead? Didn't that one guy, uh, minist the Minister Noish, however you pronounce his name? Yeah, wasn't he, like... Around, yeah, 11,000 years ago. I wonder how he died anyway. I don't think they ever explained that. Or how he supposedly died, maybe. I don't know. Well, sounds like a plan. Revenge, that's the lesson for the kids. For boss time. We don't just have a dragon to take on, we gotta take on two bosses. Fortunately, I am prepared for two bosses. Now, both of these guys are wind elemental, which is why I bought those meteor falls earlier. You could have bought some pellets and take them out one at a time, but that would take longer. So, I'm just gonna go with meteor fall and hope for the best. Lavitz is a really good idea to bring for this fight, even though he's not mandatory, because he's wind elemental, and even though his magic defense is pretty weak, he, since he is wind elemental, he'll take less damage from their magical attacks anyway. Now, Fairbrand, the dragon there, 
Every time you hit him with magic, he'll counter by increasing his attack power slightly, but it's totally not worth worrying about. It's negligible, and it doesn't increase his defense or magic defense or any kind of defense, really. So, and, and with the Meteor Falls, we'll be able to take him out relatively quickly anyway. Now, Fairbrand has an attack that can... Well, yeah, you got Wind Elemental damage from uh, Graham there. But yeah, Fairbrand can inflict one of three statuses with one of his attacks. Uh, fear, Stun, and I think Poison is the other one. That's why I got the Stun Guard equipped on Dart there. So, let's keep on going with uh, more Meteor Falls. I think three of them should be good enough to take out Fairbrand there. Wow! 250! Holy cow! That's more like it. I've only gotten more than 260, like, once. My personal best is 262, but... Ah, oh, nuts. Well, you know, I don't even really care about... Lavitz there. Normally, I would use a... Where is it? Yeah, a body purifier to cure that. But, yeah, I don't really care about him. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just keep on going, then. Dart would be immune to the stun effect of that attack. And by the way, you can tell which status he's trying to inflict by the color of it. So, green would be poison... The white or grayish color that the one you just saw there stuns. And I think fear is, like, blue or purple? I forget. I haven't seen that one in a while, actually. But that's okay. Yeah! Woohoo! I've heard the... Actual maximum, like in tool assisted speed runs, is like 266 or something. Yes. But man, that was really good. Uh, burning rush. But anyway, oh, well, there it is. I was gonna say, well, we gotta finish Graham off, but, well, not really. So yeah, taking out the dragon first, he has, he has a lot more uh, HP. Well, not a lot more, but a little more. Okay, I didn't get what I wanted from the fight, though. Uh, the downburst you get from the dragon, but you can potentially get uh, plate mail from Graham there. So, but I didn't get it. So, I'm going to give it two or three tries to try and get it. If I can get it, great. If not, well, then I'll just move on. So, I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, got it. Second try. Not bad, not bad. If you do not have the patience to get the plate mail, don't worry about it. It's not that important. Although you can't buy it otherwise until like the end of disc two. So I think it's worthwhile to farm, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. And by the way, if uh, you don't, if you can't boost the Meteor Falls damage as high as I can, uh, you can feel free to use one or two more in the fight. I only want to save one or two more for the next boss fight. But even then, it's not that critical. This fight is significantly harder, in my opinion. Well, I guess dragoons aren't invincible, huh? Oh, well... Then, wouldn't you want to be on his side? What kind of feeling? Jealousy or something? Oh, or fear. Well, you could, I don't know, go to the gym, work out more? Uh, 
that might help. Maybe you should create a gem. Yeah, what good would that do ya? And now you're brutally murdering people for fun and profit? Uh, thanks, I guess, douchebag? And he died. Well, so much for him. Yep. We could have tortured him for years. Oh, or that. Well, whatever works for you, Rose. going on? I thought he died. Uh, I think that's the dragoon spirit that he had. What do you mean? Uh, I thought it was a green dragon, but... Okay, Jade Dragon, that works too. Well, you kicked his ass, didn't you? Yeah, we uh, kind of need to win the war. I was going to say save the world, but... Well, we're just one country here. Hmm. More party members doesn't sound appropriate here. More Dragoon members, I guess? I don't know. But alright, now Lavitz has access to his Dragoon spirit. So his additions will now start generating SP and all that. Lavitz actually gets access to a pretty good spell as a Dragoon. It's, I think, the only real buffing spell we get in the game. So, he's not horrible, but if you know what you're doing, I don't think you really need it anyway. And he's still really slow. What's going on? That's... I thought you were getting used to the air around here. Oh. Well, yeah, there was that one merchant guy who said he was heading home. Sounds like a plan. We could just take her down to the free healing point below, but no. I guess that won't work here, huh? Seriously, it won't. And this is one of the reasons why I said to equip Shana with the stun guard if you were using her because she leaves the party immediately afterwards without giving you a chance to heal in between. Let's see, how are we doing otherwise? Oh, yeah, I got poisoned when I was fighting that last boss fight there again. So, yeah, let's take care of that. Uh, you know, I want to heal up. I'm going to go down to the healing point and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Took care of uh, all that. No random battles along the way. But I do want to equip the plate mail on Dart there. Because he doesn't have as good natural defense as Lavitz does. And conversely, I want to give the chain mail to Lavitz. Because the chain mail actually has more magic defense than the plate mail does. And well, Lavitz could use help there too. Oh yeah, and I re-equipped re my accessories as I had them before. Doing pretty good there. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to do something with Rod Typhoon, maybe. Well, not right now. I'll wait until later. But I mean, okay, let's get out of here. So, well, we can't quite go back the way we came, but we can go this way. And by the way, as long as we were talking about Dragoons there, I was thinking of something. So they got that weird polygonal wing design thing going on. 
Where did that come from? Like, I've seen it in Code Geass and various other animes, but I'm wondering where it came from the first time, or something like that. It seems pretty common. But anyway, yeah, if you wanted to, let's see, yeah, you could jump down from here to where we got the chain band before, but I don't want to do that. We've already been there. And you know what? There is one more thing I want to do as long as we're in the area. Oh yeah, we got lizard men here. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, if you fight the lizard men, you could potentially win a beast fang from them, another weapon, if you wanted. But it's a really rare drop, and we don't have anyone who can equip it right now anyway, so I don't think it's worthwhile. But you could if you wanted to. Okay, let's go with Magic Sigstone on the other one then. Now, one the reason why I want to do this battle, even though I've shown these guys before, is uh, once I'm done here, I want to use the Spirit Potions on Labbits, the ones that I've been carrying around for a while. because Not only just to fill up his SP gauge pretty quickly, but also because... Uh, they'll help him get his Dragoon level quicker. Because even though it's an, H er, an SP restoration item, and now he's at full, I believe it still counts towards his SP generation for gaining a Dragoon level. I could be wrong on that, because I don't know... Well, we can't see it in-game, so yeah, I don't know how that works. But anyway, you might have noticed on my menu there, there's a new option now that we have all of our SP gauges full. The Special Dragoon Transformation option. The way it works is whoever... Well, yeah, whoever you have use it. It transforms all of your party members into Dragoons instantly. Let's have Lavitz finish that guy off. But yeah, everyone becomes a Dragoon instantly. It changes the field element to the element of the character who used it. So if Dart used it, the field would become fire elemental, and thus well, fire elemental damage would be increased from that. So it's kind of like a Chrono Cross sort of thing, I guess. And also, whoever initiated the special Dragoon transformation, they can use their full Dragoon edition without having to do all that timing stuff. It automatically goes through, no matter what. You deal the maximum damage possible with that. I use that every now and then, but not very often. But it could be useful if you wanted to give it a try. But okay, yeah, we're done with business there. And yeah, let's go check out Lohan, see what's going on here. What can we do for Shauna? They haven't said there was a doctor guy around here. Seems like a nice place around here. I like this town. It's one of my favorites in the game. Of course, I keep on saying that, don't I? What is this, Final Fantasy IX? Well, yeah, that's what we got doctors for. So let's see if we can find the guy. Oh, well, that was fast. Well, yeah, there's a dragon on the loose. Doesn't everyone know about that? You live right next to the dragon's nest, too. How do you miss something like that? Boy, you know you're screwed when the doctor says, Oh, well, that's different. Haven't seen that before. You're all gonna die! <laughs> oh, hmm, that's weird. So we should use a mind purifier on her? Yeah, well, they do have a clinic here, just like Bale, but yeah, that won't work either. Well, there's not much you can do. We can only affect the body, not the mind. 
Well, she was just kind of cheering us from the sidelines, but yeah. Even if you used her during the fight, the dialogue is still the same. She was our support, though. And she cooked food and everything for us. Oh. Where can we find some of that? Do they sell it here somewhere? Oh, he said the Dragani plant only exists in legend. Well, we exist. So, surely the plant must exist, too. Well, yeah, they got people from, uh, yeah, all over, pretty much. Sounds like a plant. Well, I don't know how much good that'll do, but might as well give it a try. Oh, sounds like a plan. Sorry, Rose, we gotta kind of drag you along here. What is she following us around for anyway? I don't know. But yeah, we got lots of houses around here and tre- And, well, yeah, lots of houses to explore, treasure to find, and preparations to make. But where can we find this Dragoni plant to potentially save Shana? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.